All right, so let's go on to um, our next systemic formula, which is absolutely one of my favorites, nanozyme. So Troy, can you just again uh, lead us into the formula a little bit, uh, how a clinician, what, you know, what I'm, when I'm looking to use this guy? Sure. Um, and again, we took a kind of a, a different approach with this. I mean, one, we wanted to make sure we followed the study. So all the research and studies that have been done on natokinase are 2000 FU per dose. So that's what you'll find in a single capsule. In fact, a little bit more than that. It's actually 2200 FU per capsule in this product uh, for the one product. So that's the, that's the full dose, one capsule dosage. Uh, and then we, we also looked at from a... Um, like a blend perspective or kind of behind the scenes we talked about sourcing earlier that's very very important so with this product um, we wanted to do a blend of natokinases so this is a like the original japanese uh, research scientist uh, that discovered natokinase so he has a very specific uh, trademark patented version of that that has a very specific amino acid sequence and that's only available through a specific company in japan so we source that. Second, uh, we source uh, one that's kind of a, a, a general brand that's very well established here. It's NSKSD, a lot of research done behind that. That's also produced in Japan. The third natokinase is produced in Taiwan. So again, we take a, a blend of these and put them together uh, to offer something a little bit more unique and, and uh, I, I think more effective. So again, all the same things apply from a, from a mineral perspective, 100% vegetarian, vegan friendly, um, non, non-soy, non-dairy, non-GMO, all of those type of things. So, All right, so from a clinical perspective, um, nanokinase can do all kinds of crazy cool things. Let's um, talk about some of that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I mean, wonderful research. Just going back again to the Japanese and the Japanese culture and, and where Dr. Sumi, you know, discovered this from as far as just the natto, the food that Japanese eat on a daily basis. So, uh, again, from a, a couple different perspectives. One, as far as the uh, natto kinase, uh, will lower blood viscosity levels. So, again, it's going to thin the blood so you can have better circulation. Um, two, it goes after, after fibrinogen, uh, which again uh, is, is one of the major contributing factors to strokes and heart attacks. So by dissolving those formations, you're going to have uh, your, your risk of, of, of uh, having a stroke or heart attack is, is dramatically decreased, which is hugely important. So if your family has a history of that or you know, you've had problems with that in the past, I mean, absolutely, positively. And it's also with enzymes, I mean, there are no side effects. I mean, so whereas with some of the prescription drugs and things that are being offered, you know, for a similar uh, application, uh, you don't need to worry about that. It's not like it's going to get the blood too thin or you need to check it every so often. I go, no, I mean, the enzymes innately know that they're going to thin the blood to the right point and there, there's no, you don't need to monitor to check it, you know, like you do on some of the other uh, drugs that are out there. So um, very wonderful from that perspective. So just, yeah, that kind of cardiovascular um, circulate, circulatory piece would be huge. Yeah, absolutely. Also, um, I heard nanokinase can be, you know, outstanding for certain, um, you know, infections that can get into the blood, like nanobacteria from incompletely di digested food, which in turn can affect the kidneys and the pancreas. So this could be just a huge product for people with kidney, pancreatic, and, um, you know, issues with infections in the blood itself. Right. Right, again, going back to what systemic enzymes do as far as traveling through the digestive tract, absorbed into the bloodstream. So, again, anything that's uh, kind of a residual or leftover from the digestive process that, that has found its way into the bloodstream, again, the body's going to consider that a foreign invader. Uh, a lot of different names for that, floating immune complexes, circulating immune complexes that, yeah, these enzymes help to kind of help your immune system break those things down and, and speed that process up and clean those things out. Yeah, just absolutely huge. Another thing um, that's becoming a very hot topic is the whole autoimmune phenomenon that we have from um, the patient might be dominant um, Th1 or dominant Th2. Another thing I just love about enzymes is they're completely neutral 
when it comes to the autoimmune game. And that's another dance that practitioners have to walk around with certain herbs and things like that is, right. oh, is this patient maybe dominant on this side of the immune system or the other because of wonderful things like leaky gut syndrome. With the enzymes, you don't have any worry with that. I mean, they're all just completely neutral when it comes to a, a dominant side of the immune system. Yeah, absolutely wonderful product. I mean, again, it's the, the amount of clinical research that's been done on it is, is, is phenomenal. And I mean, we're, we're very, you know, that's that's why they're in the product line. So I'm going to mention one other thing, because again, with, with enzymes, and they predominantly do two things. I mean, they speed things up and break things down. So one of the things that we can do, or our patients uh, recommend the patients do, is again, just increase the amount of water that they're drinking. Because I mean, if you're not drinking water and flushing that stuff out, you're going to, you know, there are going to be some other kind of uh, side effects, so, so yeah, to speak, absolutely. that you're like, whoa, detoxification yeah. side effects. Sure. So, yeah. Well, hopefully most of our practitioners uh, understand, and I'm confident that they do, that our, our patients need to be drinking you know, half their body weight in ounces of water um, on a daily basis if they're under any kind of wellness program. Hopefully that's you know, step one. Perfect. Yep. Yeah.